we have three more episodes left of Jujutsu Kaisen season one. And honestly, I don't think I'm ready for that. <laughs> I'm not ready for this show to end. I have just fallen in love with this show, fallen in love with all the characters. The plot obviously is amazing. I've become obsessed with it. And now that there's only three episodes left, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. Like, I bought myself merch from Etsy and it could read the manga, but like, do I wanna do that? Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be watching episode 22 today and it is called The Origin of Blind Obedience. Sounds very interesting. In the last episode, the, um, the Kyoto team and the Tokyo team, they played baseball against each other. Tokyo Team 1, that was a fun, lighthearted episode that we like ended off on. And so, since there's only three more episodes left, I feel like these last three episodes are gonna be very intense, maybe a bit emotional. Uh, honestly, I don't really know what exactly is gonna happen. I'll, all I know is that Mahito and his friends really just wanna get Sukuna on their side and they want to like contain Gojo in that pyramid realm or the prison realm, I think that's what it's called. Three episodes is literally like an hour, an hour of the show. And so I don't know how they're gonna like wrap everything up. I'm kind of stressed about it, but you know what? Let's just get right into it, okay? We're gonna get right into the episode. If you enjoyed this reaction, please give this video a thumbs up and you can also subscribe down below if you wanna see more videos from me. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy this reaction and let's get into it. I've got a bad feeling about this. This man is gonna die. Yep. Okay. Ew! Wait, what? You know what that looked like? That looked like the volcano head guy. Not like him actually, but it kind of looked like volcano head because he had like the same like holes. He had the same holes in his head. Poor dude though. R.I.P. <laughs> I wonder if this actually has something to do with like Mahito and that crew, or if this person just died because there are more curses that are popping up in Tokyo. In the beginning of the season, we saw like Yuji and Megumi and Nobara. They were all just like going around to different curses around the city and trying to exercise them. They didn't really have to worry about like Mahito and, and Hanami and all those people. So I'm wondering if that's like what we're going back to, just like regular curse exercising. Okay. In similar circumstances, what happened? Would the curse spirit be smart enough to like unlock the door like that? Oh. The same middle school? Yeah, maybe they maybe they got the curse from the middle school, but then you'd think like all the other all the other students would have gotten the curse as well. Hmm. <laughs> the blushing. Oh Megumi. He's so cute. Okay, pause. I just wanna say I feel like regular curses aren't smart enough to use like the same tactics with each of their victims. And honestly, I feel like like regular curses wouldn't even use those types of tactics to kill people. They would just like, I don't know, kill them outright instead of playing like mind games with them, like leaving the door open and everything and hurting like the door operator, if that makes sense. So I kind of feel like this is the work of Mahito and that squad. But like, why would they go after these three guys? <laughs> They're going to a funeral to ask questions. Oh no. Oh, he died too. Oh. Well, that's not good. So, everyone who knows these three guys are just dying? Mm. What was that smoke? Oh, actual smokers. Okay, I thought it was something bad. <laughs> Beat him up, girl. Why? <laughs> what? 
I, I don't think they're talking about you two. They're probably talking about the the blonde girl, right? They're talking about Megumi? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, what was, what was he like? He beat them up? Oh my god, I am so surprised. I thought he would be like an emo loner. <laughs> he knows him too. I wonder when, how long it's been since he's been to this school. Like, I think he's maybe 16, so it's been like, maybe six years? Five or six years? Hmm. Oh god, a suicide spot? I wonder if they all three went there? And hung out there? Oh my god, Yuji! <laughs> he is so funny. Okay, so they did go there. What? So what the heck happened? Sukimi? Sister. Okay, is that the sister that the girl that he always has flashbacks about? What the hell? Yo! <gasps> oh my god. Oh, he can't even see him. That would be so scary. And now he's feeding him a curse? He does not know what's going on. The more I watch this show, the more I hate Mojito. If we ever see a sad backstory with him... I'm not- I'm, I'm not gonna watch it. I don't care. I hate him. <laughs> I'm scared. This seems like a horror movie. <gasps> uh, is he gonna send them to the bridge? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, he tried? Oh my god, Yuji. Did, did he have a crush on her? ありしたさんが亡くなったことと私私に言ってるの死人の時夜の私が帰る時だけお店に私が帰る時だけお店に私が帰る時だけお店に私が帰る時だけお店に私が帰る時だけお店に私が帰る時だけお店に私が帰る
I know he's just trying to, like, protect them so they don't die, but, like... He doesn't have to do this alone. <笑>ここまで気づかないとは初めて頼れよ。積み木は。寝たきりだ。人間が深刻できない以上。<笑><笑> okay, so Oh, wow. So now he finally understands where that curse came from. Ooh. There they go. Yo, this is so sick. Whoa! Oh, there it is! This is the domain? Ew! It's huge! <gasps> oh, it's- Oh, it's one that Mahito sent! Yeah! Mm. No, it's gonna end here. It's really gonna end right here. Let's go, Yuji! <laughs> that noise! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you just like give me your food. I'm hungry. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it was the veggie gyoza. Okay. <laughs> that's funny. The squad is in this... I think it's an innate domain because that's what Megumi was talking about um, when he was walking towards the bridge. And he was like, there's probably in an in, in, in innate domain here that is like keeping the curse contained. And now they have two different curses to deal with. Okay, so one of them is the curse that's been there for years that cursed... Megumi's sister and then like all the other people from the middle school and then the second curse that just came in is the one that Mahito sent after the crew. I don't even know where to start with Mahito. I talked about this while I was watching the episode but that man I have so much hate for him like I never hated a character more. Maybe Joffrey from Game of Thrones. But Mahito, I just don't see any redeemable qualities in him. I'm liking where this story is going because I feel like we're learning more about Megumi and we're finally getting some backstory as to what happened like with his sister and with his family. So we found out what middle school he went to, we found out what he was like in middle school. Apparently he beat kids up and let me just say I was not expecting that at all. I thought he would have been the type of kid who was quiet, didn't talk to anyone, read all the time, and just like kept to himself, but no. I guess he was beating people up. <laughs> I'm also really liking the like character development between Megumi and Yuji and Nobara because Megumi is definitely the type of guy who keeps to himself and he doesn't want to put a burden on anyone. And we saw that with the way that he told Yuji and Nobara to go home and that other sorcerers were going to come and help him take care of this curse. He really just wanted to protect his friends there. And I'm so glad that his friends did not let him go by himself to like go to the curse because they know that Megumi is the type of person who just doesn't talk about his feelings. And he finally kind of opened up a bit when when Yuji was like, you can tell us anything because we're friends, right? So that was really, really nice to see. I just think Megumi needs love and care, and he needs assurance that he's not a burden to anyone and that people are there to help him. So yeah, I feel like the next episode's gonna be very intense. I'm very excited. Yuji's got his curse fist all ready to punch that curse in the face, and I'm ready to see it. But yeah, I'm gonna watch the next episode. It's the second to last episode before the 
end of the season and so I'm I'm nervous but we'll see what happens <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this reaction and I'll see you in the next episode bye everyone